Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today's layout is a layout of my own design and I'm documenting Eric the donkey here who resides at the Isle of Wight donkey sanctuary where I am a volunteer. So if you follow me you'll you'll be used to my donkey uh, layouts. So this pattern paper is from a new paper pad that I purchased from the range and it's called Let's Get Cozy. I haven't actually shown it to you yet because I haven't done my I was going to do it in my update video, which I haven't done yet, but yeah, I, I will show that to you in that video, but that came from a Let's Get Cozy paper pad, and as you can see, it's kind of got, got like a pre-printed sort of um, background, really, you know, background as opposed to just a pattern paper, so yeah, it's a really nice paper pad. I mostly bought it for the colours and the simple patterns, but some of the papers are, are really nice, so yeah, I'm going to have a good use of those, and I, I think it's a more sort of economical way of buying pattern paper, because you get quite a lot of pattern paper in a paper pad for a lot less uh, cost. So yeah, this lovely 4 by 6 photo of Eric here, and I've mounted that onto tracing paper, which I've torn. This corrugated heart here came from the range. I've also got here four little bunting pieces that I've actually added white gesso to and I have stamped Eric's name onto that with a Stazon ink pad. Some more hearts here, some wooden button hearts and some little um, silver sort of plastic hearts. I'm not really sure what, you know, where they came from. And then I've got my um, Jelly Roll 10 pen for the journaling, which I'm going to do onto this tag here, this grey tag from my stash, because I've, I've set an eyelet into that and I've added some uh, twine. So yeah, the layout is going to follow the sort of design of the pattern paper. Um, yeah, just I really like this kind of design anyway, like top left to bottom right design. And also I do like my torn edges and um, yeah, I quite often do sort of the layout with photons in the middle and then paper, paper at the top and the bottom. But I quite like this kind of idea of just having it torn on sort of the, just halfway across the, the page there. So I'm going to, first of all, we'll place Eric down. And, um, I was just um, looking at my photos and I came across this one and I, I'm sure that I put it into my uh, Traveller's Notebook but I hadn't uh, scrapbooked it so I thought I'd scrapbook it because it's a lovely photo of it and uh, I thought I'd just nestle that into the just into the edge of that pattern there and uh, this is Eric having a little standing snooze and I had groomed him that day should we pop that there mm, I think so I'll just put it loosely down and get some of these embellishments yeah I'd groomed him that day and this was sort of last year the end September last year so I'd not been grooming for very long and um yeah he was having a snooze <laughs> he's quite happy it's like falling asleep isn't it on the if you go to like for a physio or something I don't know fall asleep on the table I was I saw it as a good sign <laughs> that he was relaxed with me grooming him and also you know I was helping him uh be calm and he has a very, very thick coat, Eric. Oh my gosh, like the thickest coat ever. We have to use like a special brush comb on him, uh, which I used for the first time actually when I was there the other day. Um, yeah, he's, um, yeah, very, very thick winter coat. It really ha it's really hard to keep on top of. But yeah, I gave him a good brush when I was there. So I've just, as I've just talking to you, I've um, added those... Uh, scattered heart embellishments there and I, I yeah I think that's what I'm going to do I, for some reason I was thinking that I'd embellish on this side of the page and the little title piece can go here I did toy with the idea of adding some thread to this but yeah it's just too it's not something that I can do it's too fiddly with my I'm not very good at seeing things close up like that <laughs> so um I think I'm just going to do what I normally do and just place it without any and I may lay some across the top once it's in place we'll see when we're finished I've got some lovely silver twine or thread quite thin actually thread that I was going to wrap around the heart and I had a go at it but it was really yeah it's a bit tricky to do keep looking at that and thinking it needs to be a bit straighter but I think it's okay so yeah it's going to be a simple layer I did grab my um Heidi Swap Colour Shining Gold thinking I may may you know add a little bit of gold for eric we'll see um and what, and what i wanted to do was um i've already 
stamped Eric's name on there as you can see and I did use this saddle brown stays on ink there because of the gesso and what I was thinking of doing was adding a secondary title down here on the tag with my archival ink in acorn using my tiny little stamp set here and just say snooze and groom or snooze groom um, or groom and snooze uh, groom snooze I think I might call it I was wondering if I could fit that across there. Yeah, I should have done that off camera, really. So what I will do is start to add these hearts. Get those popped down on the page. I've been having trouble uploading videos. So my previous video, the um, Believe video about the Elvis movie, took three days to upload. Yeah, three, three whole days. So we're having problems with our upload on our internet connection. And uh, yeah, I don't know how long this one will take to upload, but hopefully not three days. I did upload another one after that that only took a day to upload. Slightly shorter video that that is for a, um, it's one that's for a creative team, my creative team layout. So it's not due to go up yet, but I thought I'd get it done just in case I did have more problems with my internet connection. So that one took a day to upload. Um, we'll see how long this one takes to upload. So that's those hearts there. I've said it before. I um, always like to pop hearts on a donkey layout. <laughs> Eric here, very fond of Eric. He um, he was the first donkey I ever groomed before I was a volunteer, even. So um, I paid to do. You can pay to do public grooming. I paid to do public grooming, and Eric here was my donkey, as well as Naomi, who's sadly since passed away both in the oldies group so yeah Eric and I go back a long way he's a lovely boy right what did I say I was going to call it groom I think groom snooze I'm going to call it and I'm hoping I won't have to you know redo this tag because it doesn't fit on hoping it stands out as well His coat does look actually quite um, quite good there. I think it was after the summer, after we'd had a lot of grooming and before the, the winter kicked in with his winter coat growing through again. Because his coat is much, much thicker than that at the moment. When I did him when I was there last time, I spent a long time working on him. And uh, yeah, so thick. <laughs> he loves being groomed though. Which is why he's one of the dog donkeys we use for public grooming. He just stands there. And if you stop grooming, he like kind of like gives you a nudge. <laughs> he's a lovely boy. Right, groom. Oh, I can use that one twice. Yeah. Groom. Snooze. I, I, I thought I'd leave this in today just because, um, you know, sometimes it's nice for you to see what I do. I'm just making sure I've got that the right way around. Is there a wrong way around there is, isn't there? Don't want it to look like an S. Yeah, so um, you can feel free. Well, you've probably already fast forwarded if you didn't want to watch me do it. Groom snooze. <laughs> I'm not putting these back in the right order, but I will do that after when I've finished. <laughs> I think we'll have a couple of exclamation marks because it's funny. And what I should probably also do is um, use one of my... Um, Stamps has got like a smile on it. <laughs> I'll see if I've got room though, so I need to do the writing. <laughs> right, we'll pop. Oops, sorry about that. We'll pop these down. Put glue on those. Rearrange them once I've put them all down. Make sure it's how I want them to be. I do like my embellishments when I mount um, pattern paper onto cardstock. I do quite like my embellishments to uh, overlap the frame a bit, which of what I've done there. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Quite a short name, thankfully. Eric, only four letters. Don't think we've actually got any donkeys. Oh yeah, we have. I was going to say, I don't think we've got any donkeys with a shorter name, but we have. We've got Eve. And there are some, yeah, three letter name donkeys. Right. Um, it's probably finished. <laughs> Now then, if I want to do this, where do I do this? That's the question. And I'm still not happy about the placement of that heart, but I think it's it's too late. I wanted it to go over slightly. I think it's too late because it's stuck down very well. Um, do we want just a little bit of ink, maybe? Oh, I'm not sure now. What do I do? 
I think I'll just do it. Just a tiny bit, not a lot. Tiny bit. This is quite um this I've had this gold for quite a long time. It's quite quite gloopy. I'll just put a little bit there, and maybe a little bit here. Because it is quite a textured background. It's not actually textured, but it looks textured from the pattern. So, you know, a little bit more um, interest is always good to add to that. Ooh, now then, I could make that go into there, couldn't I, into that corner. Should I? Tiny little bit. Yeah. Mm, quite like that now. Now I've done that. I don't think I'll do it here, though, so I think I'm going to have this tag going right into the very corner. Um, once all that gold dries, it, 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 it's not, it doesn't look quite as obvious as that once it's dry. Yeah, I've got to add the date as well, haven't I? Where should we add the date? Should I add the date there? I think I might add the date there, actually. It's in September. Okay. Now I'm just going to do this right, and I think I'll just do that off camera, then I'll pop back. Okay, so that's the writing done. I just said Eric was very relaxed after his groom. He fell asleep. Such a handsome chap. And then we'll pop that down here. I'm actually just going to put the adhesive on the actual paper because, um, yeah, I'm not sure if the ink's dried properly yet. Don't want to smudge that. There. Pop a little bit of glue here. My twine. I do like to stick that to the page. I like it to be adhered to the page rather than free flowing. Right, hmm. I think we might be finished. I should really think about putting something there, shouldn't I? Let's see what I've got over here. Got this uh, red. I think what I'll probably do is. Well, I'll do it now. I was going to wait until it dried. The, um, I was going to wait until the gold dried, but I think I'll just go for it. And uh, I can always cut the ends off later. So I'm just going to add some of this here. I'm adding it in silver because um, Eric's kind of very grey and I've got these silver bits here. So, um, yeah. And I quite like the contrast of the gold as well with the kind of like... Um, brownish light colours in the photo and of course like the uh, craft um, colours here too so it's uh, kind of gold and silver but yeah I think we're finished I'm going to um, trim those off once it's all dry take the photo and then um, pop it at the end of the video so um, once again thank you for joining me stay safe take care and I shall see you next time